Hello, I'm Sam from Solid State Logic, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the next SSL Live software release. Live 4.10 brings significant benefits to the entire lineup of SSL Live consoles, ranging from the L100 through to the L550, as well as our offline editor Salsa. SSL Live 4.10's pack feature release adds to the wide ranging previous updates of SSL Live 4.9 and beyond and highlights SSL's ongoing commitment to accelerating and developing the Live platform. Let's take a look at some of the headline features. For those of you who are familiar with our System T broadcast console, we have taken the core of the event manager and bridged this to our Live platform. Most engineers are used to macros that consist of programming a single input action to a single output action. The event manager takes this to another level. Events can consist of one or more sources that can change the event state, which in turn is then applied to one or more destinations. This means that a single trigger can activate multiple output actions, or multiple triggers can activate a single output action, making the workflow much more flexible for the engineer in operation. Source actions range from GPI and MIDI inputs, user keys, and various switch functions. Destination actions are similar, ranging from GPO and MIDI outputs, console switch functions, tap tempo, next or previous scenes fire, and so on. VAUXs and VSTEMs provide an efficient way of making mix adjustments from groups of paths using VCAs. Adjusting a VAUX or VSTEM send from a VCA path would trim all the send levels that are feeding the bus. This can be very useful when adjusting groups of levels in a monitor mix, for example. The AUX and STEM bus indicators have also been redesigned to show the discrete levels to each bus send and also the level with the VCA offset applied. A graphical FFT analyzer overlay is now available on the Path EQ and Filter GUI. This allows the engineer to quickly identify problem frequencies from within the tools they would use to resolve them. The fixed point per octave analyzer has equal resolution across the entire frequency range, providing high resolution even at low frequencies. The 1, 2, and four-band dynamic EQs in the effects rack have undergone a significant redesign, adding further levels of control as requested by our engineers. The following has changed. Gain is now used to apply a static, non-signal dependent amount of EQ to the source. The range control determines the boost or cut that the dynamic EQ will apply to the signal. We've increased the Q range from 1.5 to 10, meaning narrower filters can now be achieved and we have also introduced new threshold trigger modes. The auto mode means the EQ is triggered when the sidechain signal is above the threshold if the game range is negative, and below the threshold if the game range is positive. The above threshold mode means the EQ is triggered when the sidechain signal is above the threshold regardless of the gain range. And the below threshold mode means the EQ is triggered when the sidechain signal is below the threshold regardless of the gain range setting. And finally, we have a new graph-based GUI for easier interaction. SSL Live software now supports DAW control via the Huey protocol and is primarily used for integrating with Pro Tools. Either 8, 16, 24 or 32 DAW controller channels can be configured for up to four separate DAWs. DAW channels can then be integrated into the console's layers and banks alongside other path types. A comprehensive DAW control menu is also available directly from the channel view screen. The addition of DAW control also brings the benefit of IP MIDI for timecode and MIDI based automation actions as well as events. This is particularly useful for L100 consoles which do not have local physical MIDI ports. The new spectralizer replaces the FPPO analyzer effects wrap module, adding even further detail for signal analysis. The standard spectralizer view presents a fixed point per octave spectrum analyzer, providing high resolution analysis even at low frequencies. The new spectrogram view provides a graph of frequency content over time, 
displayed as a heat map. On top of all of this, SSL Live 4.10 will also introduce the following features. A revised system menu structure, a new Ducker mode in both the path and effects rack gates, Dante Domain Manager integration, defined backup clock sources, and signal switcher integration. Remember to download the latest version of Salsa so you can check out these new features. Thanks for watching.